Alright, we are back for some more Tower of God. Now getting into um, the sleeping forget-me-not portion of the walls. I know this arc isn't exactly too long. It's around 16 or something episodes. So, I don't know what my point is. I just wanted something to mention as an introductory bit. Either way, let's continue from where we left off last time with episode 39, right where the dialogue starts. Mind your own business. You don't exactly seem like the person who will bring us the peace my sister hoped for either. 52nd floor. The wall with a sleeping forget-me-not. 2. Behind the wall. Detention center for intruders. I should have just kept my mouth shut. I only mentioned I'm a slave to try and persuade them. But I ended up getting us locked up. It's not your fault, Bam. They might have killed you on the spot if you weren't a Slayer candidate. At least we made it past the wall safely. True. You've got a point. Several hours earlier. Until we catch him and confirm yeah, yeah. Everything that we went through last time. This is no time to be fighting am this is no time to be fighting amongst ourselves. You have no idea how dangerous Calavan is. Bam! Coon? Let's just do what they say for now. I don't think we'll be able to convince them anyway. You mean... They still think we're just ordinary regulars. Even if they lock us up, they won't be too hard on us. It's not like Calavan broke the seal yet anyway, so we're st we've still got some time. We might as well just let them lock us up instead of fighting them here. Besides, we've got White, remember? We can escape any time we want. Alright. We'll do as you wish. Good. I don't remember how I voiced him. He's probably not going to be relevant for too long. The present. As if Calavan wasn't enough of a problem. Then it turns out not even the wall guards are on our side. Is this going to be an uphill battle? It's not like we didn't see this coming. Don't worry about it. Huh? Huh? Is he a swordsman? If you keep training like that, you'll never get stronger. What? You're so focused on making a stronger sword that your whole body is all stiff. You look f more like a farmer at work than a swordsman. You may be a great swordsman, but you've got no right to judge other people's sword skills. Sword skills? Is that what you call swinging a sword around like a lunatic? Watch me. Like this. Stronger, yet flamboyant. Put your weight into it. You can think of a true... You think a true swordsman can turn even a tree branch into a sword infused with the spirits of the Arie family? Don't be ridiculous. He's got such power. Your sword doesn't need those silly sword skills of yours. What are you trying to teach a mere sword that can barely slash and stab? You don't even understand something as simple as slashing. If you keep tensing up that hand, your hand like that, you'll just wear down your blade. What matters isn't your style, it's the simple act of slashing and stabbing. The sword is just a sword. It's no good if you just if you don't know how to use it. Take that stab I showed you just now, for example. If you can manage to copy even a tenth of that, I'd say you're more than strong enough. <laughs> Honestly, seeing people like you really gets my blood boiling. You're lucky to even gotten your hands on a decent sword, and you don't even have the talent to use it properly. Is he talking about my sword, Donghai? Huh. He's from the Arie family. He's mastered the art of sword fighting before he was even born. Come to think of it, I suppose it's not really entertaining to see a kid with an Come to think of it, I suppose it's not really entertaining to see a kid with amazing skills and an incredible weapon. Looks at Bomb. Calvin is here. Somewhere. Swinging it around without even knowing how to use it properly. It's because of the power of transformation I got from Doom. I can feel power is within me stirring a bit more clearly. If I can... If the best I can do right now... 
If I do the best I can right now, will I be able to get anywhere near Kalavan? Are you anxious? Why? Are you afraid you'll freeze up when you see Kalavan? You may be very growing very quickly, but compared to Kalavan, you're still nothing. But there are ways to overcome that gap a lot sooner than you think. Although, you still won't beat him, of course. You have the power of the souls I gathered. I know you're hesitant about using that power, but you've got both the right and talent to command those souls. You've also got the strength to withstand the power. I just recently found a way to make that power a reality. The fire is ready to be lit. No one knows what will happen when that, that power begins blazing. I could teach you how to light the fire, I mean. Besides, I want to see you do it. Just let me know if you're interested. Hey, I'd better change the topic. I'd, be I'd better change the topic. You know about the hero stuck in here? That bastard. Switching between Coon and White is going to be hard, because I voice them pretty much the same. Did you have any info information about it? I thought you were a legendary slayer once. Hmm. I looked into it. Legendary? I like the sound of that. But most of the information is gone, and it happened such a long time ago, it's hard to find any reliable sources. I did manage to figure something out, though. Then tell us. Mr. Legendary Slayer. After the long age of tower climbing, when Jahad and the Ten Family Leaders conquered the tower, and rankers began appearing, finally King Jahad declared himself king of everyone and everything in the tower, and started a war against his opponents. For a long time after that, the power was divided. The tower was divided by a war between those who supported Jihad becoming king and those who opposed it. History prefers, refers to this period as Genesis, but it was more of a time of war and slaughter than a time of Genesis. Genesis being new beginnings and birth. Of course, the greatest enemy of Jihad and the ten family leaders of the time was Fug, but Fug is an organization formed based on very personal grudges. But with the times being what they were, Jihad's opponents started rallying behind Fug. And in order to stand up to Jihad and the Ten Families, they had the most outstanding rankers from each country and each organization study with the masters at Fug, and had them fight as a single team. One of the teams that emerged among the teams during De Genesis was a team that managed to even assassinate the direct descendants of the previous generation of the Ten Family Leaders. The Hidden Grove Apparently, two of those pe the people trapped in the wall were part of the team. Two of the people trapped in the wall. The Hidden Grove? That's right, you'll probably know more about them than I do- Oh, that was Saul. The Hidden Grove? That's right, you probably know more about them than I do. Isn't that right, guide? Yeah. Is that magic? I'm gonna assume that was rock. Y you're that girl who is with the Elder. What are you doing here? Oh my god, she's tiny, what the fuck? How did you get so small? I'm a guide? Sneaking in here isn't that hard. You can get small? That's without the help of the administrator? I came because I had a feeling that you guys would mess this up. Honestly, I'm still kind of pissed, but I'll let you off the hook for now. Just be grateful for that much. Nobody asked you to come here. What's she so pissed about? Now that you guys are involved in this, uh... I really don't like being near that guy. I feel like I should I feel like I should tell you a bit about the people sealed in the wall. There's a lot of dialogue. There's gonna be a lot of exposition dumping, and it's gonna take a long fucking time to read. Oh boy. What? What's this supposed to mean? It's like standing in front of Jihad. What? 
I like how they ended up trapped in the wall, and why we don't want to wake them up. Sorry to call you so suddenly, Commander Division, Chian Hee Ha. I really wanted to be a little bit offensive there in how I said that. S Squadron Commander, I, I mean, Calavan. Aren't you on an infiltration mission? How did you call me with your pocket? Security doesn't seem very tight around here. Too much peace run ruins a lot of things. I'd better keep that in mind, too. How are things over there, sir? The squadron is moving in complete secrecy. It seems like they're going to defend something, but I'm not exactly sure... Not... I struggle to speak, you know. Part of me wanted to make a Welsh, but then I realised I can't do a Welsh accent. And that would also kind of imply that the Haas are somewhat Welsh. And I don't want to have to consistently do that. What's the new squadron commander like? I'm not really sure. He's hard to pin down. I see. I'll make sure I can rejoin the army as a regular shoulder. Sh soldier, not shoulder. Fuck. Once this mission is over. Now, the main reason I called you. Is there any way to make a stubborn woman change her mind? What? A woman? That's right. That's why I called you. Is he trying to imply something there? Hmm. Well, I know they say women know women best, but I haven't been. But I've been so focused on getting stronger that I never really thought about the differences between genders. Progressive. Very nice. Um. Sean he. I learned from my family the girls are meant to. For great things, so they shouldn't have done it. Still, whatever someone's been fixated on, whenever someone's fixated, been fixated on an idea for a long time, it usually means they're waiting for something. Waiting? Yeah, sticking to their guns is a way of preparing themselves for a certain moment, which means as soon as something capable of changing a mind happens, you need to get the timing just right, Calavan. Hmm, alright, thank you for the help. I am glad I could be of service, Squadron Com- I mean, Calavan. Good luck, sir. Timing, huh? Sis, I miss you. You've been gone for ages. I don't know why I still miss you like crazy all the time. I assume- Open the door! Open the door! Tab? Miss Kane, I know you're in there. Uh, that's definitely not what this guy should sound like. Fuck it. Oh. Oh my. What are you doing here so late, Tab? Why are the soldiers here? Ah! The hell's gone into you, Tab? Miss Kane, I'm sorry. I'm so disappointed in you. What the fuck is this guy's jawline? The townspeople who saw you sneaking, speaking with the intruder earlier today are protesting to demand that the guards arrest you. They claim you spoke with the intruder to try and set the heroes free. Is that all true? What? Uh, of course not, Teb. I've been hanging on for my sister's sake for ages. Why would I suddenly go and do something like that? I don't know. But the point is that the townspeople are suspicious of you. Honestly, I can only take so much of this, Miss Kane. Please, just forget about the past and move on. The townspeople get anxious every time you visit the tower. If it weren't for you, there's no way the seal would ever be broken. The townspeople all want you gone. They want me gone? The people living here are either descendants of the people whose lives my sister saved all those years ago, or losers who came crawling into this place. After being hunted down by the other ta uh, other groups in the towers, if it weren't for me and my sister protecting them, these people would already be dead. And yet they want me gone. Is this this isn't right. This isn't peace. The moment she's been waiting for. Maybe this is it. My sister gave her life for. In the past, the end of Genesis. Uh, damn it. I knew he killed their kids, but how could they send someone like that? Those ten family leaders have got some nerve. 
Near the end of the war between Jihad and his opponents. One of the lost moments of history. I wish the Ten Family Leaders had someone like your father. All Kun Edwan needed was booze and women, even if someone killed his own kids. Spear bearer of the Hidden Grove team. Tower of York. What the hell do you mean? He's the most kind per he's the worst kind of person to have as a father. Spear bearer of the Hidden Grove team. Kun Hide Lunch. Hide Hide Luke. Hind Luke. Forget me not. It's coming your way. Are you ready? Keep it down. I'm trying to concentrate. Wave controller of the Hidden Grove team. Kane's older sister. Doan. Nickname? Forget me not. Hey, what's out in front of you? You're in trouble. Hmm? Oh my god. One of the 23 beasts of the Lopovia family, currently the symbol of the 20th branch. Ancient Odd Eyes Giant Cobra. Yu Gi Oh! Much. It's freaking huge! Shut up and do something! Power of the Great Flower. Bring us protection and our enemy's death. Flower Shinsu Control Skill. Send to Forget Me Nots. Wide range skill. Flower garden. Three months before Doan was sealed in the wall. Yep. How long have we been recording for? 15 minutes and we've only done one chapter. Oh, fuck. Eh, screw it. We'll go for two. I'm gonna keep going for two. Feels weird not getting two done. 50 second floor. The wall with a sleeping forget-me-not. Three. Wow, that was a close call. The flower Shinsu control skill may be pretty to look at, but it's super dangerous. Hey, forget me not. Is that snake dead? It's an ancient beast created by the head of the Lopobia family himself. Oh, one sec. <clears throat> Never mind me. It won't die that easily. Fuck, she's pretty. Damn it, it's sure strong. Very impressive. No wonder you beat my brothers. Brother. It, is that Snake talking? Sorry about that. Um, you probably won't know what I'm saying sorry for, because I'll probably cut this piece out, because I'm just sat there silently. Don't worry about it. Anyway, moving on. Each of the 23 beasts... Oh wait, I assume this is this guy. Each of the 23 beasts has a different anima. The person speaking through it is probably the first direct descendant of Lopobia. That's nuts. I want one of those. That's right. I'm the eighth son of Lord Lopobia. I've come to give you a f warning from father. A warning. I'll <laughs> then I'll gladly be warned. Genesis chapter 1. I hope they're actually a guy. Yeah, they are. How dare you attack my companions while I'm away? The Lopobia family really is as cowardly as they say. You're back. Cha! I'm the leader of this team. If you've got something to say, shouldn't you say it when I'm here? Leader of the Hidden Grove. Fisherman Cha. Fuck, he's a fisherman. What took you so long? We just got attacked. Sorry about that. I was tied up with some other business. But I cleaned up, cleared up an escape room for us on the way here. So don't be too mad at me. Cha, descendant of the first man. I'd really like to get rid of a threat like you. But not here. Why not here? Bring it on, jackass. Now let me give you father's message, Doan. You're a knight of... Doa, Peach Blossom. One of the five flower nations. Aren't you? 
What does that have to do with anything? Doha is completely surrounded by forces of Jihad's alliance. Once the battle begins, your nation will be annihilated. What? This has nothing to do with me! That, not this. If that's true, then what's the point of fighting us like this? My father was so enraged and saddened by the death of his son. Lord Jihad and the other leaders of the Allied forces are tired of this war too. That's why he decided to choose one of the pa two paths. Coexistence or extermination. And Lord Jihad wants spoils of war from his enemies as a price for coexistence. S spoils of war? That's right. One of the flower wave one of them is the flower wave controller Doan. You and the main rebel leaders will be sealed must be sealed away. No one's sealing me anywhere. What a lot of crap. What Lord Jihad wants as spores of war is for the rebel groups and nations to seal away their own war heroes. And last night, your nation of Doha decided to seal you away in exchange for coexistence. Holy shit, what? Doan's nation? My own nation? The leader and people of your nation decided on this together. I do hope the hissing, the s isn't like peeking the mic. It might be, but who knows? Or it might just sound awful. If you refuse to go back and get and be sealed away, your nation will be destroyed. Unless you want to be remembered as the person who ch caused the destruction of your entire nation. Me? I suggest you hurry back. The following day, the warship of the Hidden Grove team. Doan, are you really going back? Yeah, I have to. But if you go, you might never wake up again. What choice do I have? I may be here with you guys, but that place is my home. My family has been knights there for generations. I decided to become a ranker and fight Jihad's army after my father died in battle. When Jihad declared himself king of the entire tower, my father was ordered by the king to go into battle to fight Jihad, and that's where he died. My family could control Flower Shinsu for generations. That's why my sister and I trained so hard to become rankers and fulfill the empty spot our father left behind. Farther, our father left behind. Even now, my sister is there trying to protect people. The reason I fight, I keep fighting like this, is because I don't want my people to fall into the hands of King Jihad. If they fall, I won't know any reason to keep going on fighting. I have to go home. Unfortunately, this is the end of my journey. Take care of the team, guys. So on. Alright. Alright. If that's how you feel, we won't try to stop you. Cha. Listen. I decided to go back. Go ahead. The Hidden Grove team believes in blooming and willing beauty like a flower. I won't cry or try to hold you back if you die or leave. I know you're trying to act strong, Cha. And I'm the one who came up with the team name. Cha. Oh shit! You have feelings for me, don't you? What? 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 I knew it. Too bad. I was gonna say yes if you asked me out someday. It's too bad things worked out like this. If anything, it'll probably be harder on the people I leave behind. Stop talking as if you're dying. You're only getting sealed away. We'll meet again. I know it. It might take a while, but we'll see each other again. And when we do, please let me ask you out like a real man. Okay. Poor guy. Poor Cha. I don't know anything about the guy, but poor man. I'll let you know what my answer is when the time comes. Hey, wait. I thought you were going to say yes. For now, yes. But who knows what will happen. Two months after, Dolan's birthplace, Land of the Peach Blossom, 
the Five Flower Nation. Royal Palestine, the Royal Palestine, the capital city. Y you made it here. Oh. Y you made it here? I've been waiting for you. I've been waiting for you, Miss Doan. It's an honor to meet you. Oh, that's a guy. Fuck. My king. I'm Doan. You made a great favor. My little sister. What? G great favor? <laughs> Heavens forbid. You probably already heard it. Uh, the Jihad's. For the Jihad's forces made preparations for uh, the war and surrounded the capital city. My grandma's gone in my old age. They're beyond our power, and we lost our will to fight. Under such circumstances, I never expect them to make a such absurd pr proposition. Uh, holy, they'd promise peace if you sealed yourself away. Well, if they sealed away a war hero. You chose to seal away Doan, uh, not Jihad. If I'm understanding everything I've read properly. I have to bear shame to ask you to do me a favor. When I know you're fighting against enemy in obedience to a royal command of my late grandfather. I'm not a, a remarkable wave controller or a sedanding sorcerer like him. And little troops are left in the kingdom, not like before. There should be a comma there. I, I shouldn't critique the fucking translation and the effort for it. I'm sorry. Uh, evidently, we have a bare chance to form a united front with Fog. Uh, again, I feel terribly unshamed to ask you this, but... Unshamed? Really? Unshamed? Okay, that has to be wrong. That has to be mistranslated, right? Because it terribly unshamed would mean you don't feel shame about asking it. Which I... This scene tells me otherwise. Interesting. Very interesting. W once and for all, please save the kingdom and save the people. Okay, I get it. If I can help the people in any way... Th thank you, Miss Doan. Thank you very much. He don't care. He actually just doesn't care, does he? Dawn ended up returning home and getting sealed away here. The townspeople had their memories erased, so it's hard to tell what exactly happened in the meantime. But the people of, Do of Doa, her country, were forced to move here, to the wall under the pretext of peace. And over time, the king of Doa lost his position and became an ordinary chairman of the wall. After Doan was sealed away, Chao was so overcome by sadness that he left the team. And went to fight Jihad's allied forces all by himself. After terrifying everyone by killing countless allied soldiers and rankers, he ran away. Then he suddenly appeared before the allied forces and chose to have himself sailed away. He probably wanted to be sealed away with Doan, so they would wake up at the same time someday. After losing two leaders like that, the rest of the team members joined Cal. Ah, I see. Okay join Calhelm's team since they were the most powerful group from Fug at the time. And after gaining his ability to see people's destinies and restoring his confidence, Calhelm devised a plan to go after Jihad himself as a way of turning the tide of war. But Jihad is an exceptional case and you're not going to be able to see his destiny. Most people opposed the plan, but Calhelm and his team gave it a shot. And to everyone's surprise, they managed to make it all the way to Jihad himself. And, in the ensuing battle, everyone on Calhelm's team, except Calhelm himself, who's either killed or taken prisoner, never to be seen again. Yeah, because of Jihad. Calhelm was too arrogant at the time. Maybe Jihad saw that in him, and let them make it all the way to him just so he could show them his true power. What's even more shocking is that there was a traitor on their team. The traitor was from the Hidden Grove. I don't know where he's been since then, but it was a total shock. Which one was it? Do you think it's the, uh... Who would it be out of the members we'd seen? Because it's got to be one of the named ones, right? Otherwise it kind of doesn't have as much weight if it's suddenly just a new named character. But we'll see. After they lost that battle, things started getting worse, even worse. 
fuck, we're at half an hour already, and I'm only just halfway through this. And that's when they started building walls to promote peace and coexistence. Those who moved to the wall were promised immediate peace, but in the end, as time went on, they started to accept the domination of Jahar's forces. And as countless fights and conflicts emerged, the old war heroes were forgotten. Now, most of the wall don't even have the sealed chambers or ha most of the walls don't even have their sealed chambers or someone who can unlock them anymore. There are only three walls still intact, including this one. If Doan or Cha wake up and find out what happened, they'll likely try to get revenge on their old teammates. But Jihad's forces are much stronger than they were back then. Ultimately, they'll die, and we don't want that to happen. <clears throat> Sorry if my voice act- the, the fucking terrible voice acting I do sounds worse than normal. I've recorded a lot of videos back to back to back, and it's- uh, has worked a little bit on my voice, so... I apologize for that. I noticed that especially there I could hear it in my own voice. It sounded a bit, uh, rough. I see. So even if she wakes up, it'll only give Jihad an excuse to start a war. She doesn't stand to gain anything from waking up. That's probably part of the reason why Calvin wants to wake her up. What do you think, Bob? Well... I say, I say wake her up. It's her choice whether she wants revenge or peace. Have you ever... Have you even been listening? These regulars are all nuts. I didn't ask you for... I didn't ask you for input, but... Thanks. What? Screw you. I don't think we should just leave her like that either. It's too cruel. But if Kalavan wakes her up... Oh, uh, okay, I was gonna say, I thought that was like, that caught me off guard, I was like, whoa, what? What's that sound? What's all that commotion outside? Oh, no. The soldiers guarding the wall arrested Doan's sister, since she holds the key to waking her up. And the townspeople want her dead. The townspeople are probably still anxious about that intruder appearing out of nowhere. So now they think her, killing her will keep them safe. If they kill her, Doran will never wake up. But Calavan won't just stand there by and let that happen. Those townspeople are stupid. Those stupid townspeople are going to end up forcing his hand. And no one likes being backed into a corner. We can't let them get away with this. We gotta get there too. Alright, whatever happens. Let's go. We've already made it this far. Korose! Korose! Kill her. I, I felt like saying it in Japanese because I'm cringe. Town Square. A lynch mob. That's that's fucked. That's really cool. cruel. Here she is, Mr. Chairman. Miss Kane. Given what's been going on, I expect you'll only understand why you we brought you here. Chairman Coer of the Wall Sea. Something completely unexpected happened. We had an intruder, and there are rumors that you know him. We checked the town's observers and found that the intruder made contact with you and was even at your house. Miss Carney, do you admit c to conspiring with the outsider? No. Miss Carney, we have far too much evidence for you to deny that. Tell us where that man is. That's ridiculous. I don't even know him. How can I possibly know where he is? Then why didn't you tell us that he contacted you? I just sent him away because I didn't want to start a fight. Trust me. That's all. She's lying. She's trying to wake up her sister and start a war here. If that woman wakes up, Jihad's forces will kill us all. Everyone, calm down. Miss Kane is the hero's youngest sister. Oh, is that the same? Miss Kane is the hero's youngest sister. Let's give her a chance to regain her honor. Honor? What honor? Just kill her. Miss Kane, prove to this. Prove to the townspeople that you genuinely want peace. 
The seal won't be broken if you're gone anyway. How about this? You can seal yourself away with your sister. That makes no sense. You lived long enough and that wasn't Kane saying that, I know. Oh wait, actually I think it was. Th that makes no sense. You've li lived long enough anyway, Miss Kane. What could be more honorable than bringing peace to the town pe people here like your sister did? Your ultimate sacrifice would be the ultimate tribute to your sister's desire for peace. What do you think? If you really want peace, follow in your sister's footsteps. Yeah, lock her up! One sacrifice could bring everyone peace. Ever since our nation became this wall, and the king became the chairman, I've seen countless chairmen come and go. I never had a good feeling about this guy. He's always been so immature and power hungry, ever since he was little. But strange as he may be, I never thought he would say something so outrageous. I'm sorry, sis. No. What? What was that? I can't stand it anymore. I just can't understand why you have to lock my sister up. I said no, asshole! For these people. How dare you speak to the chairman like that? Are you admitting you conspired with the outsider? That's right. If that's what you want to think, go ahead. What? Find him. The townspeople say they s said they saw the intruder around here. Do whatever it takes. He's a big guy with a blue hat. Hey, are you listening? This is all your fault. You've got to help me. Do me the think of running away. I want to wake my sister up. Right now. Hmm. Excellent. That was lucky. I will gladly destroy this wall for you. Hudson White decides to look for Carlevan after that so after they get the sword back. Let's go help Doan's sister. Okay. Are those are those the wall guards? I'll deal with them. I want to try out my new power. Huh? New power? Red Thrissa, level one transformation. Yeah, they don't stand a chance. I'm surprised they aren't just like insta dead at that point. Holy crap! That looks like just like transformation. The turtle's arm looks weird. I can't use it properly yet. I know we need to wake Doan up, but she was traumatized by the war. Perfect timing. I can't let someone like Car I can't let someone like Calavan wake her up. All right. Well. There we are. We are at episode 40. I think we're nearly a third of the way through season 3. So we've made good headway in the time that I've been reading it in these videos. Um, and I hope you'll all stick with me as I keep reading it. Um, yeah. That's all I've already got to say. Don't want to drag this on much longer than I already have. And with all that said, I've done Animosity. You've been you. And I hope to catch you all next time for another video. Ta-ta. For now.